Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Alan Boyle, Aerospace and Science Editor for GeekWire, and I'm here with Christina Geiger, who is head of the books department for Christie's in New York. And we're here because there's something special on display. Tell us about it. Uh, yes, I'm here at the Living Computer Museum um, in Seattle, where we have brought the Apollo 11 Lunar Module Timeline book. Um, this is the book that landed man on the moon, essentially the procedures manual used by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin um, on the Voyage of the Eagle. Super excited to bring it here. Mm -hmm. And how was it that uh, Christie's got involved in this? Uh, well, Christie's is holding an auction on July 18th uh, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the first manned lunar landing. Uh, and this book is the star lot in that uh, 200 lot auction. How do you determine how much this book is worth because I've heard all sorts of figures. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's more of an art than a science, but the auction estimate that we have placed on the book is seven to nine million dollars. Uh, this is firmly, <laughs> exactly, um, you know, this is firmly in the range of the most expensive printed books uh, to sell at auction, and I think that that is fully justified given what it is. Um, essentially, when you talk about book collecting, you know, people collect books because they, they you, it's an object that you can hold in your hands and it connects you to a particular time and place um, and really just acts as kind of a time capsule for you hold it and you feel what it was like at that moment when the human experience just got a little bit bigger and this book it was used and annotated in real time by Armstrong and Aldrin. We know exactly where it was placed in between them on the eagle and we know when it was used you know down to the minute and it links us to, you know, the greatest adventure that man has ever made, you know, the first manned lunar landing. Um, so I think I'm very comfortable with it as being one of the most expensive printed books, and I hope it breaks the record. This was a book that was put together for the astronauts. Basically, it's a, a set of instructions as they undertake the landing. And they go through it, they check off the things that they do, uh, they make notes in it if they need to do so. and. Uh, and it went to the moon with these guys on the, on the lunar module in 1969. Uh, so it's got quite a track record, sort of an out of this world history, and, uh, and obviously one that's traveled farther than a lot of other books. Mm -hmm. And I understand that there are some notations that the astronauts put into that book. Uh, what do those mean, uh, either historically or in terms of the mission? Uh, it looked like there were numbers, uh, notes maybe to themselves about uh, how to conduct the mission? Sure. Uh, I mean, that's one of the things they always did. Uh, and each of the missions had a book like this, and they all were written in. Uh, sometimes they would have the coordinates that they landed at. This particular book has that. Uh, sometimes they would... Uh, uh, they would put in various scenarios and, and the numbers that they would run through the computer for how they would accomplish those things. And, uh, and that is a part of the process as well. And it's on the road. Why do that? Why, why put it on the road? You would want to lock it up in a safe or something like that, I should think. <laughs> Well, I think that's part of the excitement, that it really was locked up for almost 50 years, um, and so just tremendously exciting to, to bring it to people and get to show it off. Um, it's here at the Living Computers Museum uh, tomorrow uh, on Tuesday, and then we were bringing it down to the uh, Bay Area. It will be in Palo Alto for a day's preview on uh, Thursday at the Pace Gallery. And then in New York, we have a nice long 10-day preview from July 11th through July 17th with the auction on July 18th and hope that many, many people will come to see it, um, see it then. Is there anything that you'd like to tell the buyer of this book? Uh, what, what uh, like uh, operating instructions? Uh, how would you like to see the book uh, used? I'm sure uh, it would not be so cool to have it locked up in a safe for the next 50 years. I'd like to see it displayed in a proper way, made available for people to see who, uh, who would like to see it, but obviously preserved and, and, and uh, made available for future generations. And uh, that sounds great. Sounds like a great prescription. Thanks so much, Roger. And we'll look forward to hearing more about the Apollo Timeline book. I'm Alan Boyle, Aerospace and Science Editor for GeekWire, advising you to watch the skies. <laughs> Ad Astra.